morning students it is another period of pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry the module code is PST 04210 my name is Mr. Sabas Atanas in this period we will discuss on the descriptions of an atom but before continuing to these sessions we have Oh, we are supposed to remind us on what we are learning last period. Kipindi kicho pita tulijifunza mana ya pharmaceutical organic chemistry. Tukasema this it refer to the branch of pharmaceutical chemistry which deals with the start of all elements. It deals with all elements. And tuliangalia pia uh, definition of pharmaceutical chemistry lakini pia tulijifunza on the branches of pharmaceutical chemistry tukasema there is uh, five branches of pharmaceutical chemistry which is pharmaceutical organic chemistry deals with all substances or all compounds that contain carbon there is pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry involve all elements there is analytical chemistry and also there is physical pharmaceutical chemistry and the biochemistry that are uh, what the branches of pharmaceutical chemistry like into the angalia on different terminologies that are involved or most reused in pharmaceutical in organic chemistry now among of that one of the terminologies there is cations uh, electric dipoles which contain two opposite charge and whatever and whatever and also to the uh, discuss on the importance of chemistry in farmers tukasema uh, one of the importance of chemistry in farmers it is used in exploration of suitable source of uh, drugs another tukasema it is used in explorations of chemical and the physical properties of the drugs o also it is used in determinations of storage conditions determination of packaging material and also it is involved in the choice of the appropriate route of administration and also the third of the uh, pharmaceutical ph uh, parameters it is in the uh, study of pharmaceutical parameters like absorptions uh, distributions metabolism and whatever and whatever and also it is used in diagnosis and the treatment of the of the disease that was the sessions or other or the, or the, the uh, last sessions ambapo tulijifunza na leo tutaendelea to discuss on the descriptions of an atoms we are supposed to or we are expected as a student in this period at the end of this sessions we are supposed to define the term atom and also we are supposed to describe the Dalton atomic theory tutangalia hizi data na atomic theory zimetoka wapi lakini tule na connection session ya kwanza tulijifunza kuhusu uh, introduction to pharmaceutical uh, chemistry definition of pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry sasa tuna leo sasa kwa sababu tulisema kwamba chemistry ina deal na mada sasa leo tutaanza sasa kujifunza kwamba mada kama mada tulisema ni kitu chochote chenye uzito na kinachoweza kuchukua nafasi imetengenezwa na vitu gani na ndio maana hapa nasema define the term atom tutakuja tuangalia kwamba matter it's made up of uh, it's made of small individual particle known as atom and also to uh, we, we are supposed to describe on the structure of an atom eh atom ilipogunduliwa ipoje ipoje lakini sasa tugundue kwamba science is a process of learning na kama science is a process of learning ina maana sasa wanasayansi sio kama wanasayansi mmoja tu alikulupuka akavumbua aka, aka kitu akakiamiza akakitoa hadharani hapana alikuwa anaanza mwanasayansi mmoja inaenda historia baada ya miaka kadhaa mwanasayansi mwingine anachukua ile idea anaendelea na kuboresha mpaka kupata a structure for atom takuja kwa mambo ya electron and whatever and whatever. Kwa hata wewe bado una nafasi kubwa sana katika kuendeleza sayansi hii ambayo tunaendelea kuisoma mpaka leo. 
that you are most welcome to these sessions. In introductions on the description of atom, we know that a large part of understanding of chemical phenomena is based on the atomic theory of matter. And we have already discussed uh, what is matter. Matter is the anything which has got mass and occupies space. But we have to discuss on the origins of an atom of matter or origin of an atoms. Mwanzoni kabisa kulikuwa na wa Greeki hawa philosopher eh, who lived 400 years BC, eh, BC before Christ were faced by conflicting observation au ndio na sasa wa kwanza ambao sasa walikuwa wanafikiria wanaumiza vichwa vyao kuweza kujua mata kama mata atom kama atom imetoka wapi kwa the first people to propose that matter was composed of small indestructible particle where lost pass ambayo ilikuwa ni karne ya 15 na mwanafunzi wake alikuwa anaitwa bwana Democritus kuanzia mwaka 460 mpaka 370 before Christ. Kwa hiyo hawa ni wanasensa wanasansi wa kwanza ambao walianza sasa kufikiria fikiria kwamba hii small particle eh hii mada kama mada imetengenezwa na kitu gani. Baada ya hapo bwana huyu bwana Lospas and the Democritus proposed that many different kind of atom existed and have each different in its shape and the size and they move randomly through an empty space kwa hiyo aliomba yani different kind of atom zilikuwepo yani zilikuwepo lakini kila moja inakuwa na shape yake lakini pia inakuwa na size yake lakini zinakuwa zina move randomly through an empty space na ndio maana sasa yule mwanafunzi bwana eh, Democritus yeye akaanza kujiuliza process of reasoning kasi kwa tunasema mwanasayansi lazima uwe na reason why usipokuwa na why wewe sio mwanasayansi uwe ndio kasoma history that kwa hii reason that if a piece of matter such as gold divided into small piece and each piece would ultimately arrive as a tiny particle of gold that it could not be divided further but still retain the properties of gold kwa alichukua hii gold ambayo nasema ni dhahabu akaivunja vunja akaiponda ponda lakini akaangalia kila kakijipati kadoka doka kale kalikuwa na sifa sawa na ile gold ambayo ilipokuwa nzima kwa hiyo he used the word atom which literally means uncutable ina maana uncutable hata kama ukivunja vunja vipi ile property yake inaendelea kuexist kama kile kitu kizima kwa that is call this uh, to uh, uh, Atoms which literally means uncutable to describe this undividable ultimate particle of matter. Kwa hiyo yeye ilikuwa ni, ni, ni idea yake ambayo aliweka. Lakini kipindi hicho bahati mbaya hakuwa na experiment ambazo kwa zina zina prove kitu kama hicho. Eh by the way japo ali, alifanya yeye hapa experiment lakini watu wengi hawakuweza kuikubali. Lakini mawazo aliyapata kwa bwana kwa mwalimu wake ambaye bwana Leosipas lakini other influential Greek thinker wakaja wakaangalia ile idea ya bwana bwana Leospas na bwana Democritus ambao alikuwa ni bwana Plato pamoja na Aristotle did not embrace the work of Leospas and the Democritus hawakuweza kukubaliana nayo badala yake they held that matter had no smallest particle and that different substances were composed of various proportion of fire earth and water kwa hiyo ndio ni mawazo yao kwa sababu wenyewe walikuwa na ushawishi mkubwa watu wengi waliokubali na walikuwa hawana vigezo vyovyote sema wenyewe walipropose kama hicho lakini miaka inavyozidi kuendelea since there was no experiment way to test the relative merits of two ideas hakukuwa na experiment yoyote kuweza kutesti hii experiment ya bwana uh, Platon and Aristotle lakini pia hakukuwa na, na eh, majaribio yoyote ya kufanyika ili kuweza ku prove eh, aya majaribio ya bwana Democrat na bwana Leospas. Baada yake kaimu ya 16 modern science become to emerge kwa wana science pia wakaanza kuchukua the idea. Example great emphasis on observation lady Nicholas eh, Copernicus 1474 mpaka 1543 hapo ni eh, baada ya Kristo kuzaliwa. Co-publication of the revolution of the heavy orbits in 
1543 wakaanza kuchukua zile idea za wale waliopita kina bwana Democritus ili kuweza ku prove je mada kama mada au mata it is commonality individual particle connect 200 years ago with the work of scientists such as Francis uh, Bacon and Johannes uh, Kepler Galilei Galilei and Robert Boyle and Isaac Newton na maana hizi unaweza kuona miaka inavyozikwenda na maana kila mmoja alikuwa anachukua ile idea kwa, kwa wakati wake broad rapid advancement as a scientific method because the established way to learn about the physical world hawa ni wanasayansi ambao ni baadhi ya wanasayansi ambao sasa walijitoa katika kutafuta ukweli wa mambo but baada ya wanasayansi hao by the early of 18 Uh, 1800 a uh, certain observation led to English chemist John Dalton 1766 paka 1844 huyu bwana John Dalton ambao sasa alianza sasa uh, kuchukua zile idea ambao zilitolewa na bwana Leopold na Democritus akaanza kuifanyia uchunguzi wale wote walio walipotoka ina maana kan Democritus Leopold hakuweza kufanya experiment yote umesimaona kabisa kule lakini huyu bwana Dalton akachukua ideas za bwana Leopold na Democritus akaanza kufanyia uh, observation zake kuweza kujua ukweli wa mambo na ndio maana tunakuja tutakuja kuona kwamba huyu bwana John Dalton ndio aka provide theory zake na hapa kuna kuna tofauti kati ya law and the theory uh, law means it summarizes a series of related observations. Yenye kazi yake ni kusummarize ile series of related observations au uchunguzi unaokuwa unafanya. Lakini uh, theories give the underlying reason for them. Ile why kwa nini? Lazima uwe na kwa nini katika maisha yako. Usipokuwa na kwa nini nimesema inatakiwa uende ukasome history. Sasa baada ya huyu uh, bwana John Dalton kuweza kuchukua ile observations akaja kugundua kwamba ah kumbe ile mada mad, 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 made with small individual particle inaitwa atom na ndio maana aka define kwamba atom it refers to small particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reactions or refer to the smallest particle of an element that retain the chemical properties of that element tuona kwamba na democritus alipovunja vunja ile gold kale kwa kijipande tu tuvijipate kwa dogo dogo tuona ile properties zake zikuwa nafanana na ile gold nzima kwa akaja akaja kuundua kumbe kumbe refer to the smallest particle of an element that retain the chemical properties of that element and also atom it is a basic unit of matter ndio basic kwa sababu mada imeumbwa na eh, it is made with more than one atom i think you are together my student my fellow student and that katika kipindi hicho bwana John Dalton aka provide theory zake lakini hivi pia unaweza unaweza ziprovide kama nilivyosema mwanzo hakuzitoa hakuzi hewani alichukua idea za wanasayansi wengine akaendeleza akaendeleza ndio yeye akafanikiwa kutoa theory zake the theory that all matter is composed of atom grew out of observation and the laws and the three most important laws that lead to development and acceptance of the atomic theory were the law of conservation of mass kwa kwa law of conservation of mass the law of definite proportions the law of multiple proportion this is the three laws ambazo Dalton alizitumia katika ku provide theory zake which is atomic is so called Dalton's atomic theory tunaangalia tukianza na law of conservation of mass ambayo ilikuwa ni 1789 huyu alikuwa ni mwanasayansi mwingine bwana Anton Lavoisier formulated the law of conservation of matter which is stated that in a chemical reactions matter is neither created nor destroyed yeye yeah, alifanya alifanya experiment yake akaona kwamba matter is neither created nor destroyed hiyo ilikuwa ni law yake law of conservation of mass kwa sababu ina maana hakukuwa na kitu kile kile kilichotokea alifanya experiment zake kwa akaja kuconclude kwamba matter is neither created nor destroyed baada hapo akaja mwanasayansi mwingine mkemia huyo bwana Joseph Proust 1754 na 1826 muone ni kitambo kirefu 
lazima ufanye uchunguzi wa muda mrefu ye aka provide the law of the law of definite proportions he made observation on the composition of compounds and he formulated a law of definite proportion which is stated that all stamp of a given compounds the galdless of their source or how they were prepared have the same proportion of their constituents elements aliangalia composition kwamba either ni compound fulani ina maana haijalishi imetokea kwenye source gani au imeandaliwa ime, ime vipi ina maana ile compound zima yani zile elements yani e, 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 ina maana ime, ime contain elements zake ziko katika the same word proportions that was the law of definite proportions ambao alitoa bwana Joseph Prost anakuja leo nyingine ambao ali, ali provide bwana Dutton ni mwenye John Dutton akaita law of multiple proportion ambao ilikuwa ni 1884 John Dutton published his law of multiple proportion which assert the following principle when two elements a and b form two different compounds the masses of element b that combine with one gram of element a can be expressed as a ratio of small whole number ina maana item a kama ni constant kwamba ina one gram lakini b ndio inakuwa ina change na ndio maana aki, uh, uki, ukichukua a akaiactivate na b unapata ab1 ukiachia tena kwa ab2 ab3 kwa unakuta sasa zile ile ratio sasa ana ali express as a ratio of a small whole number na ndio maana hata ukiangata compound zetu compound zizo nyingi zipo in the uh, in the small whole number kwa in uh, 1903 John Dutton ambaye alikuwa ni katikati ya 1766 paka 1844 forceful revive the idea of atoms and make him to provide the field alichukua idea ya eh, law of conservation of matter ambayo alitoa kwa bwana Antoine Lavoisier akapata akachukua idea ya law of definite proportion ambayo aliprovide bwana Joseph Prosy lakini akachukua law yake ambayo aliprovide the law of multiple proportions aka provide theory zake na ndio zinaitwa Dutton atomic theory hiyo ndio jinsi theory zilivyotokea kwa Dutton hakukumbuka tu alienda step by step alichukua idea za watu wengine lakini akapovali theory yake ya kwanza because all matter is composed of thin indivisible particle called atom hii hapa alichukua kule kwa Leo Spas and the Democritus all matter is composed of thin indivisible particle called atom lakini pia ya pili akasema atom can never be created or made no destroyed ambao ameitokea ame, kwenye law, law conservation of mass lakini nyingine iliyofuata akasema all atom of one element are identical both in weight and in properties and atom of different elements have different weight and different properties ilikuwa ni idea yake kwamba atom of one element are identical both in weight and in properties and atom of different elements have different weight and a different property lakini hapa hii alikuja baadaye ilikuja kuleta sintofahamu kwa sababu kuna baadhi ya elements zina eh, different weight ni the same element lakini na different weight or different molar mass lakini nyingine akasema atom combine in simple fixed whole number ratio to form a compound alichukua ile law yake ya multiple proportions kwani forming a compound the atom of element combine in whole number ratio such as 1 to 1 2 to 1 3 to 1 2 to 2 and whatever and whatever and also theory yake nyingine akasema atom are the unit of chemical change that the chemical reaction involve only combinations separations and the rearrangement of an atom that was the John Dutton atomic theory ambazo sasa aliziprovide bwana Dutton na ndio maana zinaitwa Dutton atomic theory yeye ndio alifanikiwa kuprovide theory zake sasa tunaona kwamba kutokana na improvement ile watu wangebakia static mpaka sasa hivi tusingekuwa wanasayansi wasingekuwa na wenyewe wanafikiria mpaka sasa hivi tumekuwa tunachukua theory za bwana Dutton 
lakini baadaye wanasayansi wengine walichukua idea bwana John Dutton wakaanza na kuifanyia investigations walikuja kuona kwamba oh mata wakasema kwamba oh mata is composed of a team individual particle kidi atom huyu bwana John Dutton lakini wasanzu walipokuja kufanya investigation zao hizo e, team individual hizo individual particle wakaja kugundua kwamba this individual individual particle can be divided by nuclear e, nuclear fission inaweza kugawanyika ah kwa sababu hapa na wanafizikia wanafiziki walikuwa wanaingia lakini akasema kwamba atom can never be made or created nor destroyed wakaja wakamkosoa atom can be made and also can be destroyed sasa bwana uh, the shortcoming that was uh, shortcoming and shortcoming of Dr. John Dutton atomic theories hakuweza made matter is composed of atom which are divisible ina maana yeye alisema kwamba matter is made uh, of a small individual particle or tiny particle uh, lakini it is divisible inaweza eh kubi kugawanyika and all atom of one element may not be identical in weight yeah alisema kwamba atom of the same element have uh, the same weight and the atom of different element have different weight lakini kwa walisia ilikuwa ni ndivyo sivyo kwa the amendment of the of Dutton atomic theory based on the modern concept and this modern concept was provided by the modern scientist like you you, you 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 may be a modern scientist to provide a, you, a, to provide your concept or your theory about this co atom are composed of small subatomic particles which is protons neutrons and electrons that it can be broken down ina maana sasa kule bwana Dutton hakuweza kupoma kwamba imetengenezwa na na small individual particle known as atom hizo atom atom imetengenezwa na nini hakuweza kuprovide lakini due to the improvement of science and technology to ikada kugundulika kwamba eh, atom as atom are uh, composed of small subatomic particle known as protons neutrons and electrons na hizi proton neutron electrons electrons ndio yanaanza kugunduliwa bwana JJ Thompson tukuje tumwangalia huyu ndio alianza alichukua cathode ray mfizishiani huyu alichukua cathode ray akaanza kufanya investigations alipona electrons zinatembea zina, zina akaona ah kumbe mwanga una, mwanga unatoka akajua ah kumbe hizi ni electrons lakini yeye aligundua tu eh, electrons akaja mwana Rutherford akasema hizi electrons mpaka umeme unatokea uju kuna ile empty space ambayo inasababisha sasa electrons tokee kumbe kuna positive charge bwana Rutherford akaja na yeye akagundua protons lakini sasa wewe bwana Rutherford na JJ Thompson hakuweza kugundua kwamba sasa ile eh, kwa sababu eh, electrons na tuzi kuna masi zake japo zikuwa zinafanana zinakaribiana karibiana akaja bwana e, bwana Chadwick Chadwick akaja akagundua nyuto kumbe ile empty space ambayo iko neutral sasa eh akaita kuwa nini neutrons kwa hao ni wanasayansi tofauti tofauti ambao waligundua e, protons neutrons and electrons and that can be broken down ndio maana walianza precise ile theory bwana John Dutton lakini element have isotope na ndio maana isotope by its definition is an atom with the same number of protons or with the same atomic number but with different number of neutrons or different mass number which means that atom of an element have different mass ina maana kwamba kuna baadhi ya, ya atoms zina different but for example chlorine kuna atomic mass eh, eh, kuna eh, atomic mass ya eh, ya chlorine kuna 35.5 kuna 35.7 kuna 35 and 37 ambao average yake ni 35.5 kwa hiyo eh, hiyo ilikuwa ni improvement ya science na technology na scientist kwa hiyo that was uh, amendment of Dutton walienda kurekebisha zile concept tu eh, lakini zingine ziliendelea kuwa sahihi mpaka leo. Sasa kuna structure of an atoms. Hiyo tulikuwa tuna tumeangalia history jinsi gani atom ilivyozalishwa, ilivyotokea, imetokea wapi? Mada imetengenezwa na atom. Na atom imetengenezwa imetokea wapi? Lakini tumesema kwamba atom it is composed of three subatomic particles ambayo ni protons which is very heavy, large than electrons and are positively charged. 
na hii akatusema iligunduliwa na bwana Rutherford baada ya electrons lakini electrons is the smallest and the lightest and the negative recharge it is a negative recharge and the neutrons uh, is large and massive as a proton but it is neutral na ndio maana uh, that is so called the compositions of an atom i think you are together my student that is the uh, short summary a mass and a charge of subatomic particle tukianzia na electrons eh, mass yake coulomb eh, and a charge unit which electrons have a negative recharge protons ni positive recharge while neutrons it is neutral is zero charge so this is the uh, mass and a is charge so oh uh, that All atoms can be identified by number of protons and the neutrons they contain. Atom can be identified by number of protons and the neutrons they contain. In a neutral atom, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So, the atomic number also indicates the number of electrons present in an atom. Ina maana gani? Kwa mfano unasema neutral atom like sodium. Sodium ina maana kwa mfano sodium e, ina atomic namba ya 11. Ina maana ile inapokuwa sodium na sodium haijaruzi ina maana inakuwa ni neutral. Na ndio maana sasa anasema ile proton namba inakuwa sawa na number of what? of electrons. Na ndio inakuwa sawa na atomic namba. Lakini sasa inaporuzi au inapogain elements ina maana sasa number of protons it is not equal to the number of electrons by the way inakuwa iko tofauti for example tukichukua hiyo sodium sodium ana atomic number ya 11 akiluzi anakuwa na eh, electron 11 kwa hiyo ina maana number of proton inakuwa ni kumi, eh, electron 10 not 11 inakuwa na electron 10 kwa hiyo ina maana proton number itakuwa ni 11 wakati number of electron itakuwa ni kumi kwa sababu amesha luzi electron 1 ni tofauti na ilipokuwa mwanzo ilipo kwa mwanzo ile atomic namba ya 11 kumbe namba kwa electron itakuwa ni 11 na lakini pia proton namba na yenyewe itakuwa ni 11 lakini ilipo lose ina maana ilibadilika e, ndio maana hapa nasema in a neutral atom the number of proton it is equal to the number of electrons so the atomic number also indicate the number of electron present in it lakini inapokuwa charged sasa inapokuwa charged the number of proton it is not equal to the number of electrons that is ko hiyo ilikuwa ni uh, this, uh, the, ni, ni, ni maelezo ya abati proton neutrons and whatever thus baada ya kugundua atom unajua bwana science ni tamu sana and science katika vitu ambavyo ni vitamu ni science wana science waliendelea sasa kweli atom imegundulika tumepata kuna protons kuna neutrons kuna electrons sasa hizo zina yani sasa zinajiarrange vipi sasa yani ziko jizi koje ziko wapi sasa sasa hapo ndio nakuja kwenye eh, another another substation known as locations of subatomic particles according to different models these are different models kwamba ni different scientists ambao walikuwa na wanaumiza wana vichwa kuweza kuonyesha je hizi proton electron and neutron zina arrangewa vipi akaanza bwana JJ Thompson eh the plum padding model of atomic which is JJ uh, Joseph John Thompson ambao inaitwa ni JJ Dom Thompson electrons yeye alichukua 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 mfano wa boga ukiangalia ile boga ndani yake utakuta kuna mbegu lakini ndani ndani ya mbegu kuna zile nyama nyama akatem kwamba zile mbegu ndio electrons na ile sehemu ambayo kuna zile nyama nyama za boga ndio kuna proton kumbe electrons yani zimezunguka ziko like a pumpkin like a plum paddings lakini ndio ndio maana akasema electrons and the protons are uniformly mixed throughout the atoms ukiangalia mbegu za boga unakuta zimejichanganya mle ndani atom consists of electrons scattered in a sphere of positive recharge protons eh? according to thomson atoms are composed of electrons distributed in a cloud of positive recharge material which is the protons and the, the electrons are free to rotate in orbits in the cloud and their negative recharge exactly offsets the positive recharge cloud 
Kwa hiyo yeye alichukua concept hiyo. Huyo alikuwa bwana JJ Thompson. Tujue kwamba ndiye aliyegundua ni huyu ni physician ambao aligundua electrons. Ndio huo ndio e, mchoro wake alivyo demonstrate kwa the plum padding mode like a pumpkin. Kwa this is the sphere e, you can see like uh, this is the sphere na this is kama mbegu ndio electrons ambazo zinakuwa ziko around the sphere and then akaja mwingine sasa walikuwa wana yani wanachuana wana, wana lazima waweze kukubali eh uh, kukubali experiment ya mwanzo lazima na wewe ufanyie utafijeni kweli uproof na yeye akaja akagundua kitu huyo alita ni planetary model of atom ambayo alikuwa na bwana Rutherford the atom a composed of tiny positively charged nuclei alichukua idea kwa JJ Thompson lakini ndio maana akasema the atom a composed of tiny positively charged nuclei with even tiny and negatively charged electron circling it the protons are located in the nuclear and the electron orbit around the nuclear like a planet around the sun yeye akachukua yeye bwana 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 JJ Thompson alisema kwamba zile electrons ziko around ziko scattered mle mle ndani lakini kumbe huyu akaja na bwana Rutherford akaja na idea yake. Akasema kwamba zile e, e, protons ziko ndani ya nuclear. Eh? Lakini kama ziko ndani ya nuclear ile electron inakuwa inazunguka ile nuclear kama vile jua tayari inavyokuwa inazunguka jua and the electron orbit the positively charged nuclear much as planets orbit the sun hiyo ilikuwa ni bwana ni idea ya bwana Rutherford idea ya bwana Rutherford hapo anaendelea kutafakari na kumdadafua ni jinsi gani these electrons zime be arranged ndani ya eh, ndani eh, zime be arranged katika eh, katika shell zake au katika nuclear au katika sehemu yake husika baada ya hapo hii ilikuwa ni, ni, ni structure ya bwana Rutherford model of atoms ya akasema kwamba eh, eh, proton ipo ndani ya nuclear na hizi ndio electrons zinazunguka kama vile sayari inavyokuwa inazunguka eh means 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 eh, eh, zile sayari zinakuwa zinazunguka nini zinazunguka jua baada ya hapo akaja bwana Boas solar system model of atom ya kwa bwana Niels Boas yeye akaprovide as a Boas solar system model of atoms akachukua idea ya bwana Rutherford lakini pia achukua idea ya bwana JJ Thompson According to Bohr's atomic models, electrons move in infinity orbit eh, around the nucleus, much like a planet cycle the sun. Tutofautishe kule mwanzo kwenye introductions tuliangalia kuna tofauti kati ya orbit and orbital. Tukasema orbital is an area where there is a high probability of finding an electrons, but orbit is the path kwa electron move mza sana ile ile orbit ya ya, ya sayari eh, ile ile njia ambayo sayari inapokuwa kwa inapitia inaitwa orbit mza sana hii eh, njia hii orbit ambayo pale electron inapokuwa inapitia into orbit lakini kwa the area where there is high probability of finding an electrons is so called orbital kwa hiyo nitakiwa tuwe, tuwe sawa hapo kwa hiyo yeye aka demonstrate hivyo kwa hiyo it move kwamba electron move in infinity orbit around the nuclear much like planet kwa hiyo akaenda mbali zaidi kwa ni zaidi ya planet inapokuwa inazunguka nini inazunguka jua kwa these orbits or energy ya any other way akaita energy level are located at a certain distance from the nuclear and the electron assume all certain orbits around the nuclear and the orbits are stable na akasema each orbit has energy associated with it na ndio maana sasa tukienda kile level level sasa ukiandika electronic configuration ukichora ile electronic configuration utaona katikati tulisema kuna nuclear alafu kuna shell ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu ina maana ile shell ya kwanza ndio E1 shell ya pili ndio E2 ndio aliita energy level huyo ndio bwana 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 Niels Bohr ndio alianza kutem energy level na ndio tukapata shells shell ya tatu E3 and your table ndio maana hiyo inaitwa ni energy level na maana sasa kila energy level inakuwa na energy yake na kwa hiyo tofauti kwa hiyo kupata difference kati ya eh, energy level 1 na energy level 
tu lazima uchukue energy level 2 utoe energy level 1 ndio utapata utofauti lakini pia akasema light is emitted when an electron jump from higher orbit to a lower orbit and absorb the when it jump from a lower to higher orbit tunajua kwamba kitu hata tunapoona vimondo vinavyotokea kule juu unakuta kinapo kinapotoka juu kuja chini kina emit mwanga unatoka lakini unapotoka juu ndio maana kwa mfano hata unapokuwa unapanda kitu au unapanda miti au unapanda mlima utaona unatumia nguvu nyingi unakuwa na absorb nguvu unavuta nguvu ili uweze ku, eh, kupanda ule either ni mti au mlima lakini wakati wa kushuka unatumia nguvu kidogo kwa hiyo unakuta eh, electron kama electrons na kwa emit uh, light when it jump from higher to lower level and it absorb the when it jump from lower to higher orbit that is i think you are together my student that is the Bohr's model for atoms ambapo kuna eh, energy level number 1 energy, energy level number 2 na inapo ina, inaonesha jinsi inavyotoka katika haya kuja kwenye nuclear inakuwa na emit energy or light wakati inapotoka eh, kwenye nuclear kwenda juu inaenda ina absorb energy that is kwa hiyo the energy and the frequency of light emitted or absorbed is given by difference between the two orbits and by diminishing the frequency it is part of the number of wave cycles passing a stationary point of 1 second katika sekunde moja eh uh, ile number of wave unajua tuliosoma wave physics <laughs> physics very important physics <laughs> physics eh yeah? the energy of light is proportional to its frequency it is direct proportion to its frequency and inversely proportional to its wavelength and the proportionality constant is known as Planck's constant which is his easy calculation easy calculation nikikuwekea nafikiri zitakuchanganya sana ungekuwa umeenda kidogo advance waliopita advance wanajua jua lakini tuachie tu hapa tuishie hapa tuendelee na mambo mengine kwa this is the model the Bohr's model of sodium atom high atoms having alichukua sodium eh unaona na jinsi electrons hivyo kielevo levo nafikiri tunakumbuka kielevo levo tunakumbuka nuclear ipo kwa ndani eh tunaiona nuclear hapa lakini this is energy level number 1 energy level number 2 energy level number number 3 eh energy level number 3 this is boys lakini sasa baada ya boys wakati ana sasa mwingine ambao walikuwa ni quantum mechanical ambao walichukua ni wanafizikia wave mechanics description of atoms kwa today Atomic modeling is based on the principle of wave mechanics. According to the theory of wave mechanics, electrons do not move about an atom in a definite path like a pencil around the sun. Why do you consider Boas? You remember us? When in a letter Raha. Why do you consider the Boas? In fact, it is impossible to determine the exact location of an electron because I will make a ticket investigation in the East Investigation their investigations walikuja kuona kwamba electrons zina move kwa sekunde moja zina move mara milioni kwa ilikuwa ni vigumu kuweza kujua kwamba hii path kwamba electrons ndio iko hivi ndio maana nasema eh, it is impossible to determine the exact location of an electron kwa the probable location of electrons is based on how much energy the electron has wali wali ile shell walimwachia kwa hiyo yeye wakamkosa waka kidogo bwana bwana boas hii ni quantum mechanics quantum mechanics or wave mechanics sasa walipotoka hapo according to the modern atomic uh, model, models an atom has a small possible charge nuclear surrounded by a large region in which there are, are enough electrons to make an electron neutron and the electron in a single orbit and not orbit more difference kati ya orbit and orbit this is difference you have to know the difference between orbit and the orbit orbit is the path and this is uh orbital is an area where there is a high maximum of finding an electrons an atom atomic orbital has a characteristic energy and as well as characteristic distributions of an electrons and thus electron density give the probability that an electron will be found in a particular region of an atoms kwa kuwa probability 
na hata hizo shell ni probability ile zimetoe zimetoe zimekuja ili tuweze kuwa kwa urahisi kuelewa kwa sababu electrons zilikuwa zina move kwa sekunde moja mara milioni sasa unaweza kuona haja kwa hiyo hapo imetoe imetonyesha jinsi gani uh, electrons ina, 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 inavyo move lakini ni isi probability ndio inaitwa atomic orbital baada ya hapo wakaja wakaja wanasensi wengine baada ya hiyo uh, wave mechanics ikaja wave particle nature of matter ambayo alizo bwana de Broglie huyo. Kwa anaeleta ni atomi ni atoms kudibi anywhere. Yeye ilikuwa ni concept yake hii kwamba atom eh, kudibi anywhere electrons in an atom. Ipo popote pale tu although some location are more likely than other. Kwa electrons have both wave and particle. Kwa alichukua ile wave mechanics. Kwa unaweza kuona tu connection jinsi inavyokuwa. Kwamba Alianza kwa JJ Thompson lakini ile concept imeendelea kuzaa kuzaa kuja kuja mpaka wanakuja na wanasensi wengine hata wewe unaweza kuongeza cha kwako itakuwa vizuri sana It de- uh, depending on their energy they are locked uh, lock, lock the into a certain area in, a, in the crowd electron with the lowest energy are found in the energy level closer to the nuclear kama ile energy E1 au N1 ina maana ile uh, electron with the lowest energy inapatikana karibu sana nuclear lakini ile electrons ambayo ina higher energy iko mbali na nini na nuclear ile outermost shells eh further from the nuclear kwa hiyo walikuwa bwana de Broglie de Broglie yasema an electron in an atom could be anywhere lakini akaja bwana bwana sasa mwingine ambaye yeye alikuwa anaitwa bwana Juan Hasberg eh ali provide eh, uncertainty uncertainty principle eh yeye akapokea kwamba it is impossible to measure eh, precisely both the position and the momentum of the particle it is impossible kwa sababu the electrons zilikuwa hazielewi kwamba zinapita zina zilikuwa zinazunguka kwa kasi mno kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni eh, ni probability tu ni kwa kaele probability kwa the proposed structure sasa ambayo hii hapa it is the proposed structure of atom basing on new which is quantum models where where the electrons are in the crowd no specific locations you have to know it no specific location this is the proposed structure ili iweze kutuelewesha sisi eh wanasayansi wadogo wadogo tunayochipukia na sisi tuendelee kuvumbua vitu vya kwetu inawezekana siku moja tukaipata kwa hiyo there is a nuclear is tiny relative to size of an of the electron cloud and also electrons outside the nuclear that is nuclear ndani ya nuclear tukisema kuna proton and neutrons lakini zipo ndani ya nuclear na electron inakuwa ina around the what the nuclear this is a proposed na katika kipindi hicho sasa ndio sasa tukapata kuna different names eh atomic number kwamba ni number of protons in the nuclear of each atom of an element wakaanza kugundua about atomic number na ndio maana tunasema atomic number it is equal to number of protons and it is equal to uh, number of electrons when it is in neutral forms lakini inapokuwa charged number of electrons inakuwa ni tofauti na atomic number na inakuwa ni tofauti na number of proton like the chemi- chemical identity of uh, of an atom can be determined by its atomic number it's only atomic number that uh, can you use to determine the chemical identity of an atom na ndio maana tunaweza kuongea kwa mfano hydrogen atomic number yake ni moja helium atomic atomic number yake ni mbili sodium atomic number yake ni 11 hauwezi kubadilisha hakuna hakuna element nyingine yoyote ambayo ina atomic number ya 11 haipo duniani paka milele na milele na hakuna element yoyote tofauti na hydrogen ambayo ina atomic number ya moja haipo kwa for example the atomic number of nitrogen 7 that neutral nitrogen atom has 7 protons and 7 electrons lakini inapoyuzi ina maana inakuwa ni tofauti lakini pia ikiunguka kuna mass number mass number hizi tunaweza kupata mass number is the total number eh, of neutrons and the proton summations of number of neutrons and the proton ukichukua summation yake Uh, unapata mathi namba and except for the uh, most common form of hydrogen which has one proton and no neut- uh, 
and no neutrons all atomic nuclei contain both protons and neutrons because the mass number it is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons is on the definition zaki zaki science is on the definition zaki science and that to put atomic number plus uh, number of neutrons is equal to uh, is equal to mass number kwa so, hapa sasa unaweza kufanya ku make subject hiyo yote unaweza kupewa number of protons ukapewa mass number utafuta neutron number ni wewe unaweza kupewa mass number ukapewa uh, neutron number utafuta number of proton ni wewe and whatever and whatever and that the number of neutrons in an atom it is equal to the differences between the mass number and the atomic number and the atomic number means asema kwamba atomic number it is equal to number of protons and it is equal to number of electrons when it is neutral inapokuwa neutral lakini inapokuwa charged zinakuwa ni eh, atomic number is not equal to eh, electron number or number of electrons that is an example i think we will for 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 your own time this is an example atom have the same uh, atom that have the same atomic number but different mass number to mean to any isotope na jana nilisema kwamba kuna tofauti kati ya hii isotope this is an atom that have the same lakini ile tendency unakuta hapa kuna nini kuna y kwanza upewa define the term isotope ya y uwe makini ukisema hizo na atom umechangia umeshingia jota kike kwa inakuwa ni changamoto sana kwa you have to be care be care this is an isotope isotope of hydrogen you can see utofauti wake na utaona kule kwenye mass number eh, hydrogen namba moja na mass number namba moja hydrogen namba mbili ina mass number namba mbili which is so called deuterium tritium means ina mass number ya tatu na ndio maana unapata divination ya isotopes means an atom of the same element which have the same number of protons but different mass number or different neutron number yani number neutron mass number ikiwa tofauti hata neutron number itakuwa ni tofauti that is uranium they accepted the way to denote the atomic number and the mass number of an atom of the here this is the nuclear notations so the nuclear notations uh, i think you are familiar with this and this is an example that you may uh, you may follow and this is a short summary to say that you have to define the atoms to say that atom refer to the smallest particle of an element that can take part in chemical reactions lakini pia according to uh, to that anatomic theory to uh, this is the short summary all matter is composed of thin indivisible particle crazy atoms that was the theory of daton eh? and the atoms cannot be made or destroyed and all atom of one element are identical in weight and the atom of different element have different weight that was the uh, atomic theory carbons are formed by joining the atom of two or more elements uh, and the uh, uh, chemical reactions is the arrangement of atom either separation combination decomposition and, uh, and whatever and whatever according to the modern concept matter is composed of atoms which are divisible eh modern concept modern scientist and all atom of one element may not be identical in weight that was uh, a shortcoming of john dalton john dalton i think this is a short summary you will follow for your own time and this is my assignment that for your own time you will uh, do this assignment for your own time usinipatie usinipatie mimi ndajua ndakapoiweka Uki, ukisema usifatilie ni wewe at the end trust in god you will be you will succeed in your start and in your, your, your life generally generally tuendelee kumomba mungu katika kipindi hiki kigumu tuwe na matumaini na huyu mungu wetu tuweza kuona kwamba e, maambukizi yanazidi kuongezeka tuendelee kupata hofu tukafikiri mungu ametuacha mungu hajatuacha bali mungu yuko pamoja nasi ndelee kumtumaini ili mwenyewe aendelee kutukuza katika maisha yetu. Asanteni sana na nashukuru sana kwa kunisikiliza. Naomba mnifanyie kazi haya. Asante.